Hi, this is Roger. This is a video showing the Moxie app for the Garmin 920 XT watch. Uh, this would be the screen that uh, things start up in. Uh, these icons across the bottom show what sensors that the watch is currently uh, receiving data from. So right now it's getting data from the Moxie and a simulated power meter. Um, I'm going to go and start the simulation for the heart rate and cadence data. So those sensors will show up as well. Um, and then this also shows the time for the workout. Um, when we go to this screen, uh, this screen shows the SMO2 and THB across the top, and then we've got heart rate and power across the bottom. Uh, there are alarms set for SMO2, and so right now it is above the high alarm limit for SMO2, so you can see the SMO2 turns red. Um, if I get my SMO2 down a little bit, that alarm will turn off. Uh, we'll just do this for a couple seconds to get the SMO2 down. There, then we see that the alarm turns off. And if I get it low enough, we'll get to the low limit. Um, I think that's set. And then the SMO2 background will turn blue, and then we'll get a, a low SMO2 alarm. Um, this this uh, page is more of a cycling data page. So we've got the elapsed time, the distance, and the speed, and the uh, cycling cadence is shown on this screen. On, uh, on this screen, we have a graph. Uh, the red line is the upper SMO2 limit. The blue line is the lower SMO2 limit. Uh, green is SMO2, and the brown line is the THB. And then this is back to the main screen, the, the front screen again.